Hey guys, Fish Person here. Um, in this video today, I'm going to be going over um, a little bit of Hive OS and basically how you can use it to mine uh, two different coins, two different algorithms at the same exact time. Um, it's one of the features of it, and it's um, not as robust as, like, let's say, uh, NiceHash Miner Legacy on PC, where you can actually set up. I think an infinite number of miners if you really wanted to and you had a system powerful enough to do that. Um, but in this case, uh, HiveOS does allow you to do two at the same exact time. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is basically just an overview of the Mining Expert, uh, which is what I just called my rig because it uses the B250 Mining Expert motherboard. It's a 19 GPU motherboard. I currently have 14 GPUs hooked up to it and I affectionately, affectionately call it the Bahama Mama. So as you can see here, um, there's a device ID list uh, to the left of all the cards, and that's going to be important. Not only do you need that for your overclocking profile, you're going to need that for when you're setting up your wallets and to tell the miners uh, which cards you want to run. So, for instance, if you just look at the overclocking profile here, you can see that um, card number zero, and you can see here it says GPU number zero is running at a plus 175 on the core. Number one is negative 150 on the core. Number two is plus 185, plus 185, plus one. You can see how that goes across, and you can see the GPU numbers here. They match up to the numbers that are over here on the left-hand side. So for instance, real quick, I run my 1070 Ti's and 1070's at a high core and low memory because they're running Lyra, and Lyra benefits from high core and low memory. And alternately, I'm running uh, the card number one, and then cards number five through 13 at low core and high memory because they're running Ethereum, and Ethereum benefits from low core and high memory. Makes perfect sense, right? Okay, so with that in mind, with those GPU IDs in mind, what we can actually do is use that information. I'm gonna run up two windows here, and we're gonna edit um, our minor wallet to basically allow it to have uh, different cards on them. I'm going to shrink myself a little bit so I can get some more room on the screen. And you know, one of the things I, I don't quite like about Hive is the way it's like, it ties the miners to the wallets. I'd like to just be able to have a wallet set up separately from the miners and then pick and choose. But the way it kind of is set up is like you come in here, for instance, like here's my one wallet. It's called nice hash all cards. And if I click on it, um, basically, it's my nice hash. Uh, this is my address, my wallet address for nice hash. And then basically, you set up your um, the wallet information down here to the miners. So every time I choose this wallet, it would automatically allow me to select these miners that are in here. But I can't choose uh, different miners. Like I can't choose a different version of Claymore. Um, if I'm hooked up to this particular wallet information, they're like tied together. It doesn't really make 100% sense. Maybe they'll change that at some point, but I digress. So I'm going to move this over a tiny bit. In this particular wallet, I'm running all the cards, which is why it's called Nice Hash All Cards, um, on the miner. So Claymore is just set up just like this. Um, and basically that's for Claymore, all the cards, DSTM running all the cards, CC Miner running all the cards, XMR running all the cards. So if I wanted to run just straight one rig, boom on all the cards, this is exactly how I would uh, set that up. However, if I wanted to pick and choose or use different uh, cards on the miners, I have this wallet set up. This is, again, the same exact address. I just call it it's the nice hash ETHZEC XMR, but really it's, I, I do Lyra on it also, so ignore the name. Um, but the most important thing down here is, for instance, for Claymore, you can see down here, I've got this override configuration entered where it says dash di one five six seven eight nine a b c d and really what that means is uh, when this wallet is chosen and this miner is chosen it's going to run this configuration which is going to allow it to choose cards one five six seven eight nine a b c d which are basically all the 1060 cards that i've got in the list see how the rig id numbers here uh, match up to over here and basically, it, the reason it says A, B, C, D is because uh, it goes from 9, 10 is A, 11 is B, 12 is C, yada, yada, yada. It uses, excuse me, it uses the alphabet uh, when it goes forward. So, on DSTM, hopefully you didn't just see me spit, on DSTM, uh, it's similar. So, for instance, you can see here it says extra config arguments. In this case, um, it's actually set up for my old rig. 
uh, because I had the first four cards, the 1070s. Now that I've added this P106 card in here, for whatever reason, it threw it in as ID number one, so I'll have to fiddle with that later because uh, I'm really, it's bugging me. But for instance, if I wanted to change this so it's just my 1070s, I would actually say, well, this is going to be device number zero, and then two, three, and four. I'm skipping number one because number one is the P106 card. Um, CC minor is set up properly, and to change the arguments to CC minor, you can see here it says you want to enter it in, and this screwed me up for a while because if you look at the information for CC minor, the actual help file, it's not in this syntax, or maybe I'm just looking in the wrong spot, but anyway, you want to enter it as quote, and then devices quote, colon, space, quote, and then your device numbers, and then quote again. So in this case, it's 0, 2, 3, and 4, which are my 1070 version cards um, for the minor. Uh, XMR stack, I don't know how to actually set this one up. I've been playing with it. Uh, I don't know how to set it up to pick and choose cards right now. Um, it's got a configuration override here for NVIDIA, but it's a little involved, and quite honestly, I don't mind XMR stack right now anyway, because the profits aren't there. Um, so it's not anything that I'm 100% worrying about. However, I'm going to say, okay, so it's going to save this um, mining information to the wallets, and my rigs are actually going to get... Um, rebooted not completely but the miners are going to get restarted because i updated the wallets so we can actually go right in to this uh miner uh, that's running right now on that rig and you can see it just automatically closed the screen got terminated because it's going to get reset um, i actually have two screens open here Let's see if i can do a side by side on this the uh, bottom will be the one miner and the top will be the other Again, one of the nice things about um, Hive is the fact that it actually is a full-fledged version of Linux. So you can remote into it, you can terminal, you can go on the web, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with it because it's just a version of Linux that you're running. Um, so for instance here, I'm going to just type in miner. So it's now going to start uh, monitoring the first miner, which is set up, which is the CC miner. So you can see here, it's chose GPU 0, 2, 3, and 4, which are my 1070 cards, exactly what I wanted to do. And then down here, if I type in minor, it's going to do nothing. If I type in minor, it's, oh, I hate it when it does this. Uh, all right, let's try this again. Uh, minor start is, I just typed in minor start and it's starting CC minor and Claymore. Now I'm going to type in minor and it's going to be uh, showing me CC minor up there. And if I type in minor down here, it's going to be showing me Claymore. So boom, there we go. Sometimes it doesn't like me. So um, I'm going to change the screen a little bit because Claymore is going to move a lot faster as far as the text goes. Also, let's make me bigger again. Whoop, there we go. So you can see here. It is making my DAGs, uh, number 193 for all the GPUs, and then boom, it's up and hashing, and it's running those cards. Now notice how it says GPU 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Those are just sequentially the cards as named by Claymore. It's not the cards as named by the motherboard, uh, which is just kind of where it gets weird. CC Miner does a better job of that. It actually knows to skip card number one, and it says two, three, and four, and it goes into better detail about everything here. Um, so how did I accomplish this, other than just changing the, the wallet itself and changing that information here? Well, when you come into your main screen for the rig, you can choose your wallet, which is down here. So you can see I just selected the wallet that we just edited, which is what's known as the NiceHash ETHZEC XMR wallet. And down here, you can choose the miners. So the first miner it's going to run is CC Miner, which is just chosen from this drop-down list over here. And the second miner that it's going to run is Claymore. So it's as simple as just then choosing... See, if you don't... Uh, what is it? If you just leave that blank, it says that. It looks like little dashes, and it's blank. So all you got to do is, um, actually, you can just disable the second miner, re-enable the second miner. You can just come right in and choose uh, the miner just like that. Hit the little rocket ship, and it applies the miner and the wallet. You know, the only thing you do want to make sure of is that your overclocking profiles, whenever you're changing these wallets and stuff around, whenever you're changing to the miners, if they're different cards, make sure your overclocking profile matches, because a lot of times different algorithms uh, prefer different overclocks and stuff for the cards. There is a way 
where you know you could come into the um, the overclocking and actually load and save profiles. Like, see, I've got different profiles down here, um, which is basically different configurations. Into the wallet itself, you can come in and actually choose an overclocking profile to automatically load with that when you run it, uh, which is actually nice because then if you're changing back and forth, it'll automatically swap to the different profiles, which will change all your overclocking and everything, which is awesome because right now if you're running Windows, um, NiceHash uh, doesn't have the ability to like communicate, I don't think, with Afterburner to do that and automatically swap things around. Maybe it does. I don't know how to do it. Um, but uh, this is pretty simple because it just has profiles and stuff that are in there. So what am I getting right now? Well, if I look at my um, summary, you can see here, I uh, got my uh, 1070s running, 1070 TIs are you know, 44, 45 mega hash on Lyra. Uh, and then basically I got a 1070 at about a 38. And then basically these are all my 1060 cards uh, running right now. And some of them are got better cooling than others, which is why I have the speeds up and down. Um, not everything is really solidified 100% in my rig. In fact, I'm going to be tearing my rig down uh, and moving it at some point, which is why my P106 mining card is literally just sitting on top getting cooling because I don't feel like going into great detail, making it look all pretty, and then taking it all apart again, and then having to make it look all pretty again. So it's just going to sit in its temporary spot. So um, I'm I'm pretty good with... Um, oh, and then as far as, like, eh, you know, real quick, you want to touch upon this. Uh, every once in a while, I'll also mine to Mining Pool Hub. And it's as simple as, you know, you're coming into... Uh, if you want to do Mining Pool Hub, you know, you, their wallet address is basically just your name uh, on Mining Pool Hub, which is your, you know, when you set it up. In this case, I'm Fishmonger. Uh, and then basically, you enter in your pool information like you normally would. And this is my default information for uh, Claymore. So if you run Claymore, uh, you can use this as reference. Uh, here's DSTM uh, for the Equihash portion of that. 20570, I think that's just one of the straight ports for mining a particular coin. I don't remember. It might be one of the ports for the algorithm swap. Um, I don't remember. Um, but again, if you wanted to change... And select different cards you can come in here and do that um, just like I did before uh, with my other thing so um, you know it's a little like I said if I wanted to it's a shame that the way high matches it locks miners to wallets where really it shouldn't it should have a wallet section separate so you can just choose what wallet you want and then a miner section separate so you can just choose what miner you want otherwise like if I want to go to mining pool hub and mine there versus nice hash I have to have my miners configured independently to match the wallet. Like, I can't mix and match them separately there. It's kind of weird. I mean, I guess I understand where they're coming from, but I don't know. Maybe I would just do it a little bit differently. I digress. So anyway, um, this is the conclusion of the video. I hope it was helpful to anybody who is using HiveOS or wants to use HiveOS. Um, and basically, they want to run different kinds of miners. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, send them in the comments down below. Shoot me an email, wildfishmonger at yahoo.com. See what I can do to help you out. And for now, I'm going to go finish this coffee and start packing some boxes. So until then, catch you on the flip side.